are you all doing? I just got done scrubbing down the, uh, the mowing deck, rolling into the garage, getting it put away for the very first time. You know, it's my first year having it. But what I want to focus on is the, the auto connect that's underneath of the tractor. Dropping that auto connect in order to put the drive shaft on for, to the mid PTO for the snow blower because that's the objective we're getting ready for the winter. And uh, so that is what I want to focus the video on right now is to provide people with a video of how to remove that auto connect underneath. I've never done it before. How hard can it be? All right. Okay. So I'm under the tractor. This is the bracket right here. Doing the back is easy. And we'll get to that in a second. But I was testing the front here and somebody at the dealership apparently felt it necessary to be Hercules and just put this on as tight as possible. So what we want to do, we want to loosen this here. And I've got my impact my, uh, set to the lowest setting. And I'm going to put that on there. And we're just going to bump it. Now, apparently the lowest setting isn't good enough. So we're going to have to move it up. We're going to have to... We're going to have to give it what for. And that broke it loose real quick. Now I'm just going to leave it loose and then go hit the other side real quick. Okay. This side's extra special. <clears throat> The other side was easy in comparison. They just had it simply over tight like Hercules or something. But here we're on the pedal side. And these, pedal, these, uh, these pedals are actually blocking the bolt and the nut. Let me see if I can get this down and around to show you. Let's see. Ugh. All right. So here it is right here. And here's the, here's the pedal, right there. So there's no room for a, uh, a socket to go in this way. All you can do is use a wrench or a crescent wrench. And if you look here, here's the drive shaft to the, uh, the four-wheel drive, the front differential. So, <clears throat> they've got it nicely blocked so and they've got it tightened down like Hercules I already checked so what we're going to do I'm going to get my I'm going to get a swivel onto my impact socket and I'm going to try and get up in there with a swivel and uh and hit it real quick with the uh with the impact and uh see if we can get it out that way and have an 18 millimeter wrench and socket that's what it is that's the size so let's see if we can make this happen all right 18 millimeter wrench let's put it here you know i'd like to get that stubby milwaukee uh impact stubby I think that'd come in handy for times like this. Okay, I've got braced pretty good. Well, now that was easy. Let's come, come off of there. Let's get this one off. They also have... Okay, I'm back on the other side. Let's just take this out real quick. Let's set it up on the floorboard. There's a big, there's a spacer. 
there. And just like that, and just like that, it comes out. So let's put the nut back in. This one goes in this direction. When I get to the other side, I'll put that one on. This has a really funky kind of cotter pin. It's nice, but it's a pain in the butt. Mm. Got it. Let's take that out. Push that pin out. I'll show you the uh, funky cotter pin. It's a weird looking cotter pin. Quite effective. Mm. Snap back in. Let's do the other side. Alright, so this is the weird looking cotter pin. It's right there I've already taken it off the other side let's take it off this side uh, fortunately it didn't go flying And of course, we need to put everything back. That way. All right, so it's off. So let's put everything back. The other side I've already put back. I mean, it's quite an effective cotter pin. Go dump it over. It's out of there. Now it looks like there's one last thing to do. And uh, that's to disconnect this up here. And you know what? And it's out. Just that simple. So let's drag it out of here, put it in the garage. All right. That was the, uh, conclusion of pulling that auto connect bracket off the bottom i wish i could have made it look smoother but being this the very first time i've done it it would it, it didn't go too bad it's not really difficult as long as you remember that the uh the pedal side uh they made life difficult on you a little bit and uh, though in looking at it, I, I really don't see another solution. So it's not too bad. You can get a socket on there if you have a, uh, if you have a swivel adapter. Uh, and I have an impact swivel adapter, which really helps a lot. And uh, I will not be putting it back on like Hercules, however, come springtime. So... It's time to hook up the snow blower, and that'll be in the next video. And there's something unusual about that that I have not seen on another video yet, something that I have that I've never seen anybody else do with a snow blower. 
So, that's what I'm curious about. Till then.